Hi guys, um, Sheena Ager here, author of the 11 plus vocabulary novels, um, the Cadwallader de Quests and the Cadwallader de Chronicles. I just wanted to pop on and say hi and to say I'm thrilled at the release of the first book of the brand new series, the Cadwallader de Chronicles. This is the book. It's called Trapped, just try and get it out of the light there so you can see it nicely, yeah. It's called Trap. Um, there will be four books, three this year in this new series with a fourth to follow late this year or early next year. And why did I write this series? Well, lots of parents asked me for books that are more suitable to years three and four. These books, although they have still have very challenging vocabulary in them, the stories are slightly more accessible to younger children, whereas my first series, which is the Cadwallader de Quests, and has three books in this series, the stories are much more nuanced and suitable to older children, particularly that first book, Tangle Time, because that was the first book I ever wrote. So there will be seven books in total in this entire Cadwallader series. Think of it a bit like Harry Potter. So if you're in year three or four, then start with the new series, the Cadwallader de Chronicles Trap. There will, as I say, there will be two more books very quickly. So there'll be three books this year for you to get your teeth into with a fourth um, coming at the end of the year. When you finish that series, or if you're in year five now, then start on the Cadwallader de Quest. But this is much harder, particularly this book. So don't be afraid if you find it difficult. Also, I get lots of parents asking me how to use the books. And the reason for that is the books have a built-in dictionary on every page. So you can see the stories at the top of the page with a built-in dictionary on the bottom. Parents, some parents seem to think that they have to read a page, and read all the definitions and learn the definition. Please, please, please. That's not why I wrote these books. Treat these books like any other books. Imagine you were reading a, a classic like Charles Dickens. You wouldn't read that and look up every word that you don't understand in a separate dictionary. You would just read it and maybe look up one or two words. That's what I want you to do with my books. Read them and enjoy them. And if you really want to look up a word, then go and have a look on the page. The idea with the books is you've got seven novels that are stuffed full of really, really good and tricky vocabulary that you might find reading lots of classic books. However, I wrote contemporary stories with the difficult vocabulary in, in the hope that they might cater to some children who find reading classics tricky or very reluctant readers. Hopefully the contemporary stories will be easier for them to follow. I'm not saying don't read classics, absolutely read lots of books. What I'm saying is my books are there to help, but please parents, do not treat them as a to learn list. I have so many parents contacting me saying, we didn't enjoy it because we had to stop and look up every word and learn it. No, 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 just read and that vocab will go in, especially over seven books. So start with the Cadwallader de Quests, uh, Chronicles if you can, if you can't and you're in year five, just go on to the quests. If you think you can read seven books in year five, I would still start with Trap at the Cadwallader of the Chronicles because that's a good warm up for the quests, which are much harder. And I can guarantee you that if you read these seven books, the vocabulary really will have sunk in and also just comprehension and context and understanding. And again, please only use the dictionary if you need to. Also, some of my books have some Welsh words in them. Um, if you look on YouTube here, you can see a little video which shows you how to pronounce those Welsh words if you're interested in that. But if not, that's cool. So don't forget, guys, don't be overwhelmed by the words. They're not a to learn list. Read the books and treat them like any other. I hope that helps. Bye.